It is described as a playful, squishy dance show, and it's hitting Auckland tomorrow. It's set in the land of sweet spices. It is dance, fun, and music, and even a tomato fight. Yes, that's right, a tomato fight. Here to tell us all about it, please welcome to the cafe dancers Sasha Copeland and Emma Coppersmith, along with musician Charlie Davenport. Thank you, guys. Yes, Thank welcome. <laughs> We've just been having this little chat, and we are off air about what exactly it is. So maybe you can explain for us how the sensory part comes into the show. Yeah, sure. So it's um, basically we were really inspired by dirt and all the magical flavours that come from dirt. So we have heaps of piles of spice everywhere throughout the spi uh, space. So piles of cinnamon and star anise and coffee beans. Okay. And then we dig things like cellos and violins out of them. So not, no dirt, actually nice smelling things. It's <laughs> delicious <laughs> dirt. <laughs> and Emma, being part of the show, no doubt, is a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, what happens if I come and watch it? What, what's going to happen? Um, so it's like a story that you can follow. There's five different characters. Um, two of them are actually musicians, and so the music and the dance and the theatre is all combined and integrated to, into one show. Um, and it starts off very clean and tidy, with everything's perfectly spaced out, and as the show progresses, things get pulled out of the piles of spice and dirt and fruit comes out, and um, it kind of opens up the imagination for kids for things that are going to happen and then by the end of the show it's a mess and there's been a ride and a fight and <laughs> everything's it. everywhere. It, it looks fun. It sounds yeah, really yeah. awesome. Yeah. And Charlie, you're a classically trained musician. I mean, what is it like for you performing on stage for this? Uh, yeah, much more three-dimensional rather than just sort of sitting reading the music. You're not used to someone know, throwing a tomato at you when you're on stage. <laughs> yeah, have to dodge those. <laughs> this show. Um, yeah, it's so much fun and, um, you know, we do lots of dancing in the show as well and there's lots of rhythm and we dodge the flying tomatoes and <laughs> dig up coffee beans. Now, Sasha, so you say there's these big mounds of like things like coffee beans which smell beautiful. Mm. Do you take things into the audience? Do they get to touch and have a bit of a feel as well? Yeah, we do. So it's really interactive. So we go right out and put a cinnamon stick under a kid's Ooh. nose and oh, maybe wow. even whisper some images into the ear mm -hmm. that um, cinnamon provoked. Yum. And Emma, who is the show suitable for? Um, probably from ages three, but it, like the age range is three to eight, but I would say any kind of kid would Not enjoy so. it or get well. something from it, even adults. Yeah, yeah. Say, like I know game. adults come with their kids just so they can see it. Uh, what I want to know too is what is it like, because you have this massive tomato fight, you're going into two theatres, I mean how do they feel about you coming in and having this huge tomato fight in their theatre? Um, well the Bruce Mason staff have got used to it I think. <laughs> I think we just smile and um, <laughs> hope that they don't mind. And did it not cost a fortune? I mean tomatoes at certain times of the year, highly <laughs> pricey <laughs> Fruit. Yeah, we usually go and like suss out some really local cheap fruit and veggie stores just to make it a bit easier. And actually the tomatoes do get composted afterwards. Oh, <laughs> you. Nice, well, sounds fun. Fun yeah. for everyone. Great yeah, it show. Does. Hey, Great thanks guys. Show. Thanks yeah, so thanks much guys. for stopping by. Yeah. Dirt and other delicious ingredients plays at the Bruce Mason Centre in Auckland from tomorrow until Saturday. You can check out Auckland Live website for all the details. <laughs>